yet, not yet, not yet. Okay. Must be 5.45 p.m. Eastern time on a Friday night. Time for BCTV's weekly media roundup. And uh, if the sound of this microphone being attached to my shirt drives you crazy, I apologize. I'm tonight's host, Roland Boyd, and I'll be taking you through the next 15 minutes, really more like 14 and a half now, of BCTV's weekly media roundup. That's right, we go through a look at uh, all the week's happenings, the headlines, upcoming events, events that have already happened, things showing on BCTV, municipal coverage, all that good stuff. We pack it into 15 minutes or even a little bit less. So you can get out there and enjoy the weekend. We'll be taking you through a show that includes, I'll be able to tell you, somebody has in fact given me a sticky note. Heck, let's let the uh, fancy graphics do the talking here. We're gonna talk a little bit about uh, the Wyndham Orchestra's upcoming events. We'll get the backstory on their 42nd season and all the current ha happenings. We'll also talk about some school board controversy in the Commons coverage of that. Plus, we'll find out uh, Bernie's latest bit of outrage, this time over uh, allegations that the U.S. has been spying on its own allies. Find out how this affects privacy issues in regards to the federal government for Vermonters. Of course, uh, the Vermont Health Connect deadline looms as well. We'll find out what uh, Vermont Health Connect navigators are doing to help people get into the system on time with the right coverage. All that and more, we're going to do it in 15 minutes or less. Maybe even a lot less, so I can get out there and enjoy the weekend myself. So if you've got the time and just a little bit of uh, attention to spare, stick with us right here on BCTV's 545 Live. Welcome to a very spooky edition of 545 Live. Now. I'm, uh, Tonight's host, Roland Boyden, alongside Vlasta Papelka. Maybe she just goes by cat these days. We're having a little Halloween fun here. The show, of course, our nightly news roundup on BCTV 545 Live. Vlasta, your first night at the desk. Well, it's come to that time of year in BCTV's 230 Main Street rooftop studios, where there's very little daylight when we start our show at 545 p.m. and even less when we end it. Last rays of sunshine behind me here. We're going to take you all the way through this October 25th, 2013 edition of 545 Live by taking a look at this upcoming weekend, look at some events on into November, and of course, all the headlines as well. And uh, the headlines, in fact, is where we'll start uh, by taking a look at our Reformer Roundup. Just get uh, the split screen and the laptop fired up here for a moment and launch in as we take a look at uh, the latest news here, including the Wyndham Regional Career Center's new system. Let's Hear the video. This is a 3D printer at the Wyndham Regional Career Center. Next up, the free and independently owned weekly newspaper, The Commons, is where we'll take our stories next. Heck, we'll even fire it up in person here before heading into the stories and talk a little bit about uh, the latest Brattleboro Town School Board uh, happenings. Uh, which included uh, a special meeting this week to follow up on a five-hour grievance uh, filed by a teacher who uh, is looking to, she says, shed a light uh, on a pattern of bullying and intimidation uh, within the school's teaching system. A uh, decision is still to be made here. A couple lengthy executive sessions, but plenty of it got on the record. And of course, BCTV is there to cover these meetings in their entirety, gavel to gavel. Of course, minus those executive sessions, as that is the law. But if it falls within the open meeting law, BCTV is there to get the footage. You can find it all streaming at uh, brattlebrotv.org. Put together the whole picture. Uh, get the uh, whole story here, as uh, you're seeing a few clips of it now. All right, we'll move on here. Next up, allegations uh, in the mainstream media that the United States government could be spying on its own allies. This set a new level of outrage for Vermont U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders, who says the issues uh, don't just involve uh, the U.S. abroad and intelligence uh, with its allies in other countries, but involve all uh, residents of the United States here at home including uh, of particular concern to him, of course, Vermonters, uh, as the Green Mountain State looks uh, to the federal government's uh, new policies surrounding privacy in an age of technology, where a webcam on every cell phone, on every computer, in every home has challenged the way that intelligence agencies uh, can, uh, or must rather, regulate themselves uh, when it comes to the privacy of their own country's citizens. 
Sanders says uh, the battle uh, for policy and precedent has just begun, but it's a crucial time for everyone uh, in the U.S. who values their privacy to speak up and step forward. So all over this country, regardless of political persuasions, uh, people literally cannot understand what's going on here. And they have every reason to be outraged and frustrated. Next up, you can purchase anything from prescriptions to groceries to DVDs, movies, books, and the like on the internet. Now, you can buy health care online as well. And for members of the Green Mountain State, Vermont Health Connect is the newest registry. It's a website that allows you to purchase uh, a series of health care plans for your employees if you're a small business or go out and purchase health care as an individual. A new model that uh, the state hopes will fit with the federal guidelines, highly controversial federal guidelines, but also allow uh, the state to control health care spending through maximizing efficiency, which should in time minimize cost. However, for those expecting Vermont Health Connect and the new push toward quote unquote universal health care to add uh, or, or to reduce rather their monthly costs, think again. That's right, uh, more than half of uh, Vermonters could end up paying uh, more, though it's an average of $5.50 more per month uh, to get the same health care. But they'll be going directly to the state of Vermont, and that should make all the difference. Though Vermont Health Connect navigators, those are tasked with helping those scratching their heads when it comes to Vermont Health Connect sort through the myriad of obstacles and puzzles, say that uh, the January 1st deadline is uh, not just a soft deadline, but rather uh, those looking to continue uh, insurance without a lapse need to not only have been billed, but also have paid that bill uh, for their first month of Vermont Health Connect before that January 1 deadline. I think the best advice to people is figure out what your individual situation is. So how do you do that? If you're comfortable using the internet, what you can do is you plug in the numbers that it asked for in your individual situation and there's different scenarios and you can find out how much it's going to cost you. All right, uh, we'll move on now and uh, talk about a few more things coming up. For that, we'll hit the calendar and we'll hit a new format with me standing in front of BCTV's giant video wall. Let's take a rock and roll look. We're going to start this Thursday, October 24th uh, through Sunday, October 27th edition of the calendar by taking a look at the Insight Photography Project exhibit uh, and silent auction. It's running again today and it's going to continue all the way uh, through till Sunday. There's a myriad of works on display at their 45 Flat Street studio and uh, they go on between the hours of 1 and 5 p.m. on each of those four days. So area residents uh, can examine items in person between those hours uh, before bidding on them, or you can bid any time of day or night online at auction.insight-photography.org. And again, the bidding is open right up until the auctions close on Sunday. All those proceeds benefit Insight and their uh, mission to provide photography classes to Wyndham County youth regardless of their ability to pay. Okay, we'll move on now in the calendar and uh, talk Kern Hatton. Grounds at Kern Hatton uh, in Westminster are all a bustle this week as the campus for disadvantaged children in need of safe and nurturing group home experiences prepares first to host Friday, November 1st, blowout fundraiser performance dubbed Resounding Hills, a transformative musical collaborative, which will see Kern Hatton students joined on stage by Hugh Keelan and the Wyndham Orchestra for a night of choral and instrumental pieces, all aimed at showcasing a spirit of mentorship and collaboration at Kern Hatton. The clickable link for that is over here. We've got a video spotlight now. Well, the particular joy of this concert that we're doing, Enchanted Hills is what we're calling it, is that it's a collaboration between the Wyndham Orchestra and Kern Hatton, and top of the list with the kids up there at, at Kern Hatton. We are a charitable organization, so this is a fundraiser to uh, help raise funds for the children who live at Kern Hatton. Got our November look ahead here. So again, that concert kicks off on Kern Hatton's campus in Westminster at 7.30 p.m. Tickets at the door are all by donation, and all the proceeds benefit Kern Hatton programs. All right, from there, we'll move on and talk Saturday, the 26th of October here on the campus, as it's again a prescription drug take back day. And the day returns for the seventh time in three years to offer a chance for area residents to prevent pill abuse and theft by ridding their homes of potentially dangerous, expired, unused, and unwanted prescription drugs that might still be languishing in their medicine cabinets, but they're highly susceptible to misuse and abuse, especially from teens who often report their early abuse of prescription drugs as originating in the home. And with studies now revealing public safety, environmental, and health hazards uh, from medications flushed down toilets and drains at home, this Saturday's Take Back Day is a good way to clear your home safely 
and there'll be five locations around Wyndham County open to the public from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. with the Wyndham County Sheriff and Vermont State Police joining the Dover, Bellows Falls, and Brattleboro Police Departments in providing free and fully anonymous drop-off locations. That means there'll be one on the ground floor of this very 230 Main Street uh, Municipal Center just down the hall from Brat PD Dispatch. That's where we caught up with uh, the Brattleboro Area Prevention Coalition's Cassandra Holloway at last year's Take Back Day. And it's where we'll take our video spotlight right now. We really care about it in our own community because we have a high misuse of prescription drugs among our youth. And we want to make sure that we take away any temptation, much like locking your alcohol cabinet. We want to make sure people are securing the drugs that they have, um, but also getting rid of any that they don't need. And if you can't make it out this particular Saturday during Take Back Day, Secured RX drop boxes like the one in that video spotlight are available 24-7 year-round at the Brattleboro and Bellows Falls Police Departments as well as the Wyndham County Sheriff's Department. Uh, so you can dispose of your medications that way at any time of the year. That does it for another edition of our weekly Media Roundup 545 Live. But we'll be back next week right here on BCTV Comcast Channel 8 for another full 15-minute edition when we'll sum up a week's worth of video, including another video calendar. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash TV to get all the latest news highlights and more uh, updated each uh, and every time there's something newsworthy happening. And of course, our regular uh, selections as well, like that Channel 10 report and interactive video calendar. In the meantime, until next time, thanks for watching.